Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can port your Minecraft worlds from your phone or tablet or iPad or whatever to a PC or a laptop. And now this is going to be really useful if you've um, just switched over to a PC or laptop from tablet or phone or if you have some old worlds over on an old tablet you used to play on or phone, um, or if you want to get a world from one place to another. Anyways, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that and get your worlds from MCPE Minecraft Mobile over on your laptop or PC. Alright, so to start off, you don't actually need to be inside of Minecraft for this. You do, however, need to make sure that Minecraft is installed. Now, first off, you don't really need to worry about your system being outdated or your device being too old. I'm currently recording this and I'm going to be doing all of this on an iPhone 5, um, so you really don't need to worry about that. Anyways, I am going to be on iOS, um, so for Android it might be a little bit different, but you should still be able to follow along. Anyways, um, you are going to want to locate your Minecraft files. For iOS, I'm not entirely sure where they are. They should be somewhere in files. Um, for Android, I'm not completely sure where they are, but for iOS, um, you can just head into the search area of here and then search files. As you can see, we've got this files app coming up right over here, and this is exactly where I want to go to. Um, so I'm just going to head out of here because it opened me up into where we actually want to be. Anyways. The default area which I recommend you to go to and which it'll probably open up on is a browse right over here. Um, here you can see a few folders, a few tags, your downloads for example. Um, and in here we're actually going to locate the Minecraft worlds which are stored on your phone. For Android, um, once again it's going to differ a little bit but you should still be able to access these. Anyways, for iOS, you want to go to On My iPhone, and then you want to click on the Minecraft folder. Um, you should be able to see um, the Minecraft icon and a folder called Minecraft. That's the folder which you're going to want to go into. In here, there's going to be a few things. They might not all be exactly the same, but the most important one is the folder called Games. That's the next folder we're going to want to navigate into. Then, once you're in there, click on the only folder there, which is going to be Hom Mojang. And now here you've got a bunch of different folders. It might look a bit overwhelming at first, but trust me, it's fine. We only need to locate one folder here, and that is the folder which I've got, I've located already on my screen. It's called Minecraft Worlds. Pretty obvious, right? Because we are going to be taking our Minecraft Worlds from our phone or tablet onto our laptop or PC. Anyways, um, you can enter that folder and now over here you're gonna see a bunch of folders with some weird names possibly. Well, um, these folders all represent a world, however you'll notice that they don't have the correct names. This is because this uses a different naming system than you do in Minecraft. Anyways, to, um, to, to know which worlds you want to port, um, I firstly recommend knowing which worlds you want to take over um, from, your, um, from whatever device you're porting from to the device you're porting to. Anyways, um, to do that, you can head into any folder you want, and then you'll see a few things. Once again, don't make this too overwhelming. Um, you'll see a file called level name. If you enter that, then as you can see, you can see the name of your world. In my case, that is copy of my world. Not so, not 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 such a good name. Um, I still don't know which world this is now, but that's fine. Anyways, if you don't want to do it via the name, you can also click on the world icon file, uh, and this is going to show you the icon of the world, which you can see in Minecraft as well. Anyways, you can do that for each of these, um, so this one as well, I can look at the name of this world, which is Coastal Village, and this one doesn't have an icon. 
Okay, I have located the world which I want to transfer. Um, you can select any world that you want. You can also select multiple worlds, every single world. That doesn't matter. Anyways, I want to take over this one. Uh, this is my redstone test for Minecraft 1.16. Um, and that's the folder I want to use. So, once you have the folder or folders, um, what you're going to want to do is tap and hold on the folder. Now a menu is going to come up. As you can see, one of the options is compress. And that's the option you're going to want to click on. So click on compress. And now, um, amongst all these folders over here, you should see a file which says zip and this is just a compressed version of your world and if you're wondering why we're compressing it well compressing this is going to make it a lot easier to transfer over because instead of having to transfer over a folder and a bunch of folders and files inside that we have now just turned this into one file we can transfer over in one time Anyways, and now comes the, I guess, part in which a lot of things are possible. Now, this zip file right over here, you are going to want to get that over on the device you want to transfer it to. In my case, that's going to be over onto my laptop. Anyways, there are a bunch of ways you can do this. You can click on share icon over here, and then you can do basically anything. As you can see, um, I don't have a MacBook, but if you are porting this to a MacBook, you can get away with airdropping it. You can send it via messages, mail, Discord, WhatsApp, Gmail. Um, you can put it in mail as well. You can upload it to Google Drive. Um, you can do so many different things. Um, so the idea is that you send it, for example, I could send it to myself on Discord um, or in a random channel on Discord and then I could download it from there. Or if you also have WhatsApp on your PC um, or something like that, then you could send it there through WhatsApp as well. Um, as I said, you could airdrop it. Another really, really easy way to do this is to send it via just Gmail or, um, or Outlook or something like that, just via mail, upload it into there, send it to yourself, anything like that. The idea is that you get it over onto your laptop. So you can also, of course, do it through methods that I haven't mentioned here. Just do whatever is convenient for you. If you have a really convenient method of doing it, make sure to leave it down in the comments below for others to maybe look at and realize that it would work perfectly for them as well. Okay, so you're probably noticing a difference in the quality of the video and in the quality of the audio too. That is because I've now switched to my laptop on which, as you can see, I have my world. Um, here it is. This is it. Um, and now, um, if you're wondering how I got this here, what I did is I just sent it um, in a random channel on my Discord server, and then I downloaded it from there, and then I just deleted it. Only took about 10 seconds. Um, perfect time to plug our Discord server. Um, I've got one. It's We're closing in on 100 members, um, so it'd be great if you would join. Anyways, link to that is down in the description. So, moving on to this. Once you have it on your desktop or in any other place you want it to be, I, rec I recommend your desktop because it's easy to work with it there. Anyways, once you've got it there, um, you can just enter that real fast. And depending what device you've downloaded it from, um, you're going to see this folder over here. You're probably always going to have this. Um, but you might see this one over here. I see it's underscore Mac OS X. Um, this, so you're only going to have this if you um, if you ported it from an iOS world. Uh, sorry, an iOS device. Anyways, you can right click on that and just delete that. There we go, that's fine. Um, it's going to take a second to delete because it is in a zip file. Anyways, now there's a pretty important step, and that is that you're going to need to look at this file really closely. And not necessarily the file itself, but the name of the file. As you can see, there's a bunch of random characters, and then at the end of mine, it says .zip. The reason it says .zip is because we compressed it into a zip file 
earlier. Um, that was that step from before. Um, and it's very important that you see the dot zip at the end of this. Yeah. Um, so depending on the settings of your device, you might not be able to see it. If you can't, then open up File Explorer, and up the top over here, you should be able to see um, a tab called View, or something like that. Anyways, click on that, go to Show, and make sure that File Name Extensions is ticked. Depending on your OS, this might look a little bit different, but make sure that you can see File Name Extensions. In this case, you want to have ticked the option over here. What this does is it means that you will be able to see the .zip on the end of this file. Alright, so once you've made sure that you can see the .zip at the end of this, very important, you're going to need that later. What you can do is just head into here um, and then you'll see another folder. Drag out that folder to your desktop, yeah, and then you can close this. Then you can just delete this zip folder over here. Anyways, what you're gonna want to do next <coughs> is double click on this and you'll see a bunch of items. What you're gonna want to do is go Ctrl A to select everything or select everything manually like this. Then right click on them and then click on Compress to Zip File. You might get the pop-up that Windows was unable to add one or more empty directories to the compressed zip folder. That's fine, you can just click on OK. Anyways, you can rename this one thing. I'm just going to name it world.zip. There we are. Um, now, depending on the device you're using, you might not actually have um, compressed to zip file as an option. Um, if you don't, then I recommend that you download a program called 7-zip or WinRAR whichever one suits you best. I'll leave a link to 7-Zip down in the description. And the only thing that program is going to do is allow you to do what I just did. Yeah, um, once you have that world.zip, you can drag it out and then you can just delete this folder. There we go. Um, and now we have our world. As I said, you can name this pretty much anything you want. Um, now what we can do next is right click on this and rename it. This is the step where it's so important that you could see the dot zip on the end. Because what we need to do is remove the dot zip and then add dot mc world. That is dot mc w o r l d. Yeah? That's exactly how that is spelt. And now a very common mistake that gets made here is that you don't um, that, that you don't replace the dot zip, but that you only add .mc world to the end. That's wrong. You need to replace the dot zip um, with .mc world. So remove it and then add .mc world to the end. Anyways, if you've done it correctly, a pop-up should pop up. Say that if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? In this case, we're sure, because the file will still be usable. As you can see, it now has a grass icon. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, now to import this, um, all you can do is just double click on this and Minecraft will automatically launch. Um, if you don't have the grass icon, there's Two things you can do. Number one, either Minecraft Bedrock is not installed correctly on um, your laptop, or what you want to do is right click on this, go to open with, and then you should be able to select Minecraft or potentially Minecraft Preview right over here. If you want to import this world into Minecraft Java, um, you'll need to port it, and I'm sure you can look up a tutorial on how to port a Bedrock world to Java Edition on YouTube as well. Anyways, if you just want to put it into Bedrock Edition, I've got the icon, so I can double click on this and look at that. Minecraft is automatically going to launch and the world is going to get imported. So if you just wait a few more seconds for Minecraft to load, in the top of the screen we'll be able to see world import started and world import finished successfully. There we are, that is the message 
that we want to see. If it says world import failed, that means that something went wrong. And um, then I recommend you to either rewatch this video um, to make sure that you really did everything, or maybe just repeat the entire process once. And otherwise, leave a comment and I'll try and help you as best I can. Anyways, um, we can just click on play right over here. And as you can see, redstone test 1.16. That's the world I had on my phone. And as you can see, I haven't played this in 1.18 yet, so it's going to prompt me to make a backup of it. Um, anyways, I can launch this and here I am. This was my original redstone testing world. Um, I haven't been in here for very long. There's not actually a lot in here. Um, that's because I didn't play on mobile a lot. Um, especially not on my phone. Anyways, as you can see, we've got a few prototypes of gold farms here. Um, this looks like a more recent one. And then we've got a bunch of other cool things like sorting systems. Here I believe I was trying to make a shulker box sorting system type thing. I was doing a lot of things with shulker boxes. Here I believe are shulker box um, loaders and unloaders. Stuff like that. What's this? This is a bee farm we have right over here. Another bee farm. Here we actually have lists of everything I have in this world. Um, on the back, pretty empty. What's this? This is probably um, a bone meal kind of farm. Here you have a sorting system. Anyways, you probably get the idea. Um, oh, this is the rotating storage system, which I do have a tutorial for on this channel, by the way. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's that, I guess. Um, anyways, as I said, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those down below in the comments. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.